forewarn weather with cutting edge technology for the most up to the minute forecast in Southeast Michigan. A lot of people have a lot of plans for the holiday weekend. There's the movement festival still happening downtown. That sky cam shot we just saw a little ominous looking cloud hanging over skies. That's right. We have those storms rolling into the area and a lot of people outdoors, including at the Mo movement music festival in Hart Plaza, but people out on lakes and having backyard barbecues as well. So here's what we're looking at right there. A lot of people down there, thousands right now. It's 72 and Pontiac 74 at City Airport. We are seeing those clouds building in the area looking more ominous as Pamela just mentioned. One of the things that we're going to be watching for these storms are going to bring the potential for some gusty winds as they're moving across the area coming out of the southwest moving toward the northeast. Some of these showers popping up ahead of the main line so you can see showers popping up around the Farmington Hills and into the Southfield area. Some of these showers right now with a lot of lightning and thunder associated with them we are seeing popping up in Monroe County. Now that line is going to be advancing across our area over the next couple of hours. So a couple of showers and thunderstorms popping up out ahead of it, as you see right there. It is cloudy all across the area. Now there are some concerns with these storms being a little bit stronger to our south. So far we do not have any warnings out of these, but we again could have some winds that are gusting up to 30, 40 miles per hour as this line races up from again the south west moving toward the northeast across the area. So that'll be happening over the next couple of hours. One of the things that we're going to be watching for not just the gusty winds, but the potential for some localized street flooding out there as these bring some downpours across the area. So as we progress into around 10 and 11 o'clock, we will still have some showers of thunderstorms out there, but these will be weaker, not as strong, and they will more so just be a concern for downpours. As we get into the overnight hours and Monday morning, after a chance of a couple of spotty showers early, things are improving in our forecast. As of right now, there's agreement with the data coming in that it appears that the chance of rain showers in the afternoon are going to be low for Memorial Day with just the chance of a couple of showers in the morning. So things clear out some sunshine as we get into the afternoon and early evening hours and then looking at some partly cloudy conditions as we get into our Monday night. Here's what we have in our forecast for the rest of this evening. We remain under that chance of some isolated storms becoming severe. We're under that marginal risk from about I-69 southward going all the way down to around Lenaway and Moreau County where we bump up a level getting into the slight range that's level two out of five. Again, there are some of those stronger storms right now in Ohio just to our south and here as you go farther toward the south, if you have to travel getting to the Nashville area, getting into St. Louis, getting close to places such as Memphis, that's where there's even a better chance of those storms becoming strong to severe tonight. Lows right around 64 degrees. We have the showers and thunderstorms breezy out there overnight with winds out of the southeast about five to 10 miles per hour. But those winds picking up tomorrow, getting up to about 74 degrees in the afternoon hours. We see some sunshine in the afternoon hours, and I talked about that wind west. Mostly some of us seeing that wind coming out of the west southwest about 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So you'll have to make sure that you are keeping that in mind if you're planning to go out on the water. So we have those temperatures around 74 for tomorrow, Tuesday, 73 for that high chance of some storms, a stray shower for Wednesday only into the upper 60 for that high. So we are cooling off a little bit. Same as we get into our Thursday with those temperatures around 72 degrees. And then we have those overnight lows in the 40s. You see right there from Thursday morning into Friday night as well. We have temperatures that are going to be only in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And then as we get into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, a couple of showers out there and also for Sunday. So we do have a break and the chances of rain, but they return for next weekend.